and welcome. Uh, well, we are here today to show you some effort of the outreach program. Who knows the outreach program? Good. The other ones are here for bioinformatics, right? No? Okay. Well, um, the thing is, <laughs> okay. The thing is, in the, the Debian Meet team has a lot of biological packages, and we are not really sure. And as uh, Tatiana and Nadja have proven, we, uh, it was we were really we could be sure that all, not all our packages are working correctly because they have written tests. They have written auto PKG tests, which is a very valuable job, and both of them did it very good. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Tatiana can't come, but Nadja wants to present some of her work. And I asked her to present on one side the technical work, the biological stuff, uh, which I really appreciate because I'm a physicist, I have no idea about biology, and I'm happy that she is doing things I couldn't do. And on, one s on the other side, she uh, should give some introduction into the internship uh, into Debian because, because for, my, um, for my opinion, it's even more important that we get new persons to our teams. I'm always trying to get new fresh blood and uh, thanks to the outreach uh, program, we have people doing the work and we have people who might remain in the Debian project, which is really interesting for us. So and now I have the pleasure to follow the talk of Nadja and wish you good luck. Thanks. Hello, my name is Nadia and I am a little bit informatician. Um, unfortunately, another author wasn't able to make it here at Tatiana, but I will speak for both of us. So, bioinformatics is a scientific field which combines computer science and mathematics uh, to analyze biological data. Um, my specialization is mostly genomics and genome assembly, and Tatiana's specialization is proteomics and structure biology. Mm. There are hundreds of packages uh, in Debian which are related to bioinformatics, uh, and the goal of my internship is to improve quality of these packages um, by writing tests. Um, as far as I know, there are two types of internships in Debian. It's Google Summer of God and Outreach. Um, they're the same, but there are some differences. Uh, for example, there are uh, much more projects available for Google Summer of Code, um, but it happens only once a year, uh, while outreach happens twice a year. Um, and um, Google Summer of Code is uh, available only for students which are enrolled to some program, uh, while outreach is available for people from under, underrepresented groups, such as women. Um, unfortunately, outreach isn't so popular as Google Summer of Code, and uh, not many people know about it. Uh, I personally learned it by friend who knows someone who knows someone who participated. Um, and uh, it's sad because um, there are a lot of people who graduated and they are looking for internship, um, but most internships are available only for students. And outreach is a good choice. Um, for me, it was a perfect choice because I was looking for a job for a year and I couldn't find anything because I didn't have much experience. And when I tried to find internship, uh, I couldn't qualify because I wasn't a student anymore. Um, and uh, outreach helped me to overcome uh, a first contribution anxiety um, because <laughs> at first I was afraid to make, some, to make something wrong or ask silly questions. 
um, and on Trichy helps to overcome these problems. And uh, also why I liked this project, um, because it really makes difference for bioinformaticians. Because I know my friends, biologists, biologists uh, they struggle with bioinformatics soft because it's almost always buggy. It doesn't run from the first time. And uh, they feel frustration and uh, often they just drop the idea to use the tool and they write their own scripts. And this is a wasting of time. So I think the improving the quality of packages is important. Um, here are some examples of our work, what we learned. Um, this was a story uh, when I was testing FASTX toolkit package and it didn't work. And then I asked community and figured out that there was undocumented option. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, um, and when I figured out this, the problem was solved. Um, another case is when I skipped system requirements and was trying to test package, uh, which actually needed 75 gigabytes of RAM. Um, of course, it was a better location on my computer. Um, but then I figured out there was uh, an option to make a mini database and run on my computer. Um, this is an example of Tanya's work. Um, when she worked on Meta Student package, uh, she found out uh, that dependency changed from legacy BLAST to BLAST plus. And uh, the output of BLAST plus was different from legacy BLAST. So she needed to look for all usage of BLAST, BLAST plus in the meta student and change it to parts correctly at the output. Um, and also we used uh, the Perl pack package, which uh, helps to write tests for Perl packages. Uh, and it was an example of good legacy. And also I wanted to say some words about my mentor, Andreas. Um, we like to work with him very much because he always answer, answered on time. Uh, he was always supportive. Um, and I'm a very shy person <laughs> and he pushed me out of my uh, zone of comfort. Why don't you also make me shy now? <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Thanks. No. Anybody have a question? Who wants to answer? Ask the first question. If not, I have some additions. Okay. Because if I compare my experience um, with uh, Google Summer of Code students, which uh, uh, or if the Google Summer of Code students were men, they were frequently not that busy as women. So I have better experiences with Tatiana and you. And I had also uh, another women in the Google Summer of Code. They are doing a very good technical work to my experience. And it was... Um, very good communication between us. So this is, uh, I can really recommend to run this outreach program. And um, what I would like to give as a hint for mentees, mentors, that um, when Tatiana said that I was responsive, I have a kind of a priority of myself is if somebody is waiting for an answer for me, 
then this is, has highest priority. I've always tasks to do. Everybody has tasks to do. But if somebody is waiting for you, please don't let people wait to keep their motivation high. This is kind of an important thing. And so I hope it's, it's in our team the culture is that way. And I can just recommend this. So, and um, I, um, according to the, the actual tec technical work, um, I remember at least two packages where um, uh, Natya spotted uh, some several mistakes I made in the packaging. So this this was really cool because I thought, well, this is what we need. We need people who are doing um, yeah a, a four eyes workflow, if it's an intern or not. But um, this this is kind of an important thing, and people should uh, be. Uh, kind of bold because I'm a kind of an established Debian developer and I'm quite known, but I make as many mistakes as everybody else. So please check us. And uh, this is a good thing of interns because they come without prejudices and do their job. And Natya really did a good job, as well as Tatiana, who unfortunately can't come. So did this trigger more questions now? Oh, there is a question. I think we start with the question in the back, and then you will. It's a personal question. Um, has uh, this internship motivated you to spend um, more time on Debian, like now in your free time? I never was a man, <laughs> but I don't know how to compare. Um, but yes, I feel that I'm responsible for this task, and I'm responsible for future attendees so they will have the chance. OK. Next. Actually, um, I have uh, more, more, uh, also an addition instead of uh, the question. But uh, another difference between Google Summer of Code and Outreach is that uh, uh, in Outreach, you can on only participate once, as far as I know. And for Google Summer of Code, you can participate twice, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. But having said that, I have al al also been an outreach intern of, uh, this winter, and uh, I found the experience really great. And it did motivate me if, um, to stay with uh, Debian and uh, for, to involve more with the Debian people, with Debian teams. And uh, so I can double the words so that uh, this is a great experience, and it really helps you to uh, come into Debian world. Thanks. There is a question here. Thanks. Uh, yeah, my question, I guess, is uh, is quite simple, and uh, I know that uh, I cannot generalize for a, from a specific uh, answer. But uh, well, these programs are meant to not only to get a, uh, like a one-time participation, but to uh, foster uh, young people getting involved uh, in the project. Do you? Do you, as a person, or have other of your mentorees, uh, well, uh, continue to work in the project after after this uh, experience? What, what what would you say about this? The say the retention rate or the the success of these programs beyond the person. You want to start? Hmm. Well, okay. Well, <clears throat> I realized that. Um, Despite my hope that the Google Summer of Code students would continue, they did not really continue on the topic. There's one exception, the Sukhbir Singh, who went into, the, this was my first Google Summer of Code student, who went into Debian's organization of Google Summer of Code to get other <coughs> students in. Uh, unfortunately, the other students did not really remain, but it's maybe not such a bad thing because if they finish their study and find a job and then have some spare time, say, oh, there was this project, Debian, it was cool to stay and, and maybe they come back later. So I'm, I do not want to draw a final line here under this question. I personally <coughs> really like to mentor people, be it for, uh, for this official program, we have also in official programs in Debian made, and from this experience, I say, 
well, not 50%, but close below 50% of the people I'm mentoring are staying inside, inside, which is quite a good quote, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the way, this was also my motivation to, to push Nadja to come here and hold the talk, because he was not really so happy, but I think it's... <laughs> It's important to, to learn the feeling, to present your stuff here at DebConf, because I told you, you all our friends, and you need to meet your friends somehow. And this is the easiest. And now everybody knows you and will talk to you at lunch or dinner or so. This is also important to you. Oh, you are smiling. That's good. Anybody else? Who wants to join the Debian Meet team after this talk? <laughs> you? I don't say yes, but maybe you do it without saying yes. I'm always um, at tr try to attract people who could be helpful, even if they are doing just a small part in our team. That's always welcome. A question? Do you have Please wait for the mail. Oh, right, um, hi. Uh, do you have a favorite uh, Debian science package? Oh. Was there, or how about, was there one that was the least troublesome? No, actually it was a package that I didn't roll the test, but I tried to find the bug in BBA. Uh, B -B -A, B -B -A? BBA, yes, it's like a lining tool. BWA. BWA, BWA. okay. Mm -hmm. um, and there was a bug which I was looking for a week and it was, very cool to find it. <laughs> well, this is actually an understatement what she usually is doing. It was one of my colleagues had one data set which was crashing under certain circumstances. And um, well, I wrote uh, um, an issue on the bug tracker of BWA, and they said, hmm, that's a bug, we should care for it. And then it was silence. And then I tried to debug it. and. Um, it cannot really fit it in my, my day job. It was really one work, uh, one week of work. It was, and I hadn't this week. And so, maybe I, I'm also not so skilled in debugging. And and uh, finally, I thought, well, we have this uh, skilled young woman in our team. Just throw this job on her. And it's actually not the main task to find these bugs. It's the main task is to write tests. And uh, Nadja did it. I'm really happy about this, so this, this was a really cool job. Thank you. Well, congratulations, then. Any further questions? Oh. So you mentioned that Outreachy helped you get over the, uh, you know, the first contribution anxiety, uh, but I would suspect that Outreachy, we didn't do a perfect job at that. Uh, that's one of the most important things that Outreachy does. So how can Outreachy do that even better than we do it now? Maybe providing the example, like some sort of how to do it. Um, because uh, at first, uh, the, the only problem is uh, the fear that you do something wrong. And I think the support and that uh, when people say you that it's okay to make a mistake, this is important. Mm, yeah. Yeah, maybe making outreach more popular. It worked where you are a friend of your friend and a friend, and um, Tatiana and Nadja were friends before, and if I not had uh, mentored, um, Tatiana first, Nadia would not be there. So it should be uh, a non-interrupted uh, chain of persons working with us. And then, then we will get more people, I think. More questions? I think we also got uh, 20 minutes. Oh, how is this? It's finished also. OK. OK, then let's thank again. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dwight.